Yeah, I'll go again. We're doing push-ups for PTSD awareness. Um, I'm going to recommend another journal from a World War I soldier from Ernst Jünger, this time on the German side, called A Storm of Steel. I always get that mixed up with A Storm of Swords. I actually accidentally wrote A Storm of Swords in one of my essays. And the tutor was a Game of Thrones fan, so hopefully I got away with that. Um, Ernst Jünger was a soldier on the other side of the trench from the one I recommended earlier in video 5 I think it was um, except he was sort of later in the war in the 17, 17, 19, 18 and he's got a really complete journal that was uh, it was heavily censored after the first world war because it talks about gas attacks chemical weapons and life in, life in trench warfare and so forth and I won't quote directly because I can't find my copy of it um, but the last, the last battle he's involved in I've got the attack order they come barreling up over the trench and they actually penetrate through one of the barbed wire lines into an English trench, into an Allied trench. Um, and his main weapon jams. He pulls his sidearm out, kills two Allied soldiers. Uh, he's about to shoot the third one with his last bullet, who's been disarmed by an artillery shell and he's already wounded. And the third soldier holds up a picture of his wife and his kids two kids um, and Ernst Jünger thought that that looked very similar to his wife and his two kids and walked past him and two days later three days later or something like that the German Navy surrendered and the war ended um, I'd really recommend that book to anybody that can get your hands on a copy of it A Storm of Steel it's called um, there's a bunch of revisions of it, but there's a new translation that's coming out just a couple of years ago that's really, really accurate. Uh, the ones translated through the 1920s weren't, weren't accurate, they were sort of censored political pieces more than anything else. Um, so I'm going to recommend that. Today I'll do some push-ups for PTSD awareness. It's my last day with the little hoodlums down in Pakenham today, so... I might even record tomorrow's video down there today if I can get a few of them to help me. The last one, the last one I recorded with the whole lot of them didn't work, so we'll try again. Uh, PTSD is horrific, and suicide is the leading killer of men under the age of 45 in Australia. You think about all the stupid shit men under the age of 45 in Australia do, and suicide kills more of them than anything else specifically in the context of PTSD in the armed forces uh, but I'm a big fan of it in general I'm not a fan of Facebook challenges but this one hits close enough to home and in the meantime we'll do some goddamn push-ups uh, thank you Lyndall for getting me into this I'm not going to nominate anyone because uh, no one ever does it anyway <laughs> I'll be happy when this challenge is over.